hello guys welcome back to another calc video tutorials in this video tutorial we will go through a concrete column so as you know this is my project manager sheet which has everything I need in there so I'm just gonna add my concrete column by selecting this button I'll select add and then I have under columns I have concrete column now a new tab opens which will have the values according to the concrete material so as you see column material is already concrete and I'll say concrete column C1 again like in steel in concrete also we need to have fixities so it, the top will be pinned and bottom will be fixed I'll select 5000 KSI Five thousand psi concrete, so nothing but five ksi, and we'll have our main rebar as sixty ksi uh, yield strength, and modulus will be twenty nine thousand ksi. The density we can have one forty five or one fifty psf, and uh, over here modulus of concrete we can calculate as per any of these formulas so I'll just select 57,000 multiply by square root of f dash a so there it goes you get 4030 ksi and my reinforcing limits will be from 1% to 8% now I'll go to concrete shape so I have different kinds of shapes of concrete columns over here so first basic I'll just go with square shape and dimension will be 18 inches that's fine column edge to rebar edge cover I'll put it as 1.5 inches then reinforcing over here you can see in reinforcing tab the number of bars it is it provides so we'll do that later on now we'll go to loads and we'll add load so let's set 10 kips of load dead load and 10 kips of live load acting at an eccentricity of 2.2 inches now that that is done we can add additional load of 10 kips and 10 kips in the center and also you can add lateral load I mean nothing but your different types will select will select moment load and I'll say 50 K per feet and dead and live about XX axis and that will be at the top of the column nothing but 10 feet as you can see in general we have 10 feet column height so once this is done you go to slenderness so as we know uh, like the column needs to be braced from one side or the both sides that depends on the bra design however so as this column is not braced we will select our kx factor Okay, looks like it is braced. How come it's braced? So 
So in YY columns London as you select you use overall column height and you make sure you have bottom as pin and sorry top as pin and bottom as fixed and usually it should show even in over here yes there it goes so we'll select that one now that we have selected our slender nest with our k x and k y factors we'll go to concrete shape reinforcing so now we ha I have this bars in my concrete column so let me uh, just reduce this by one and even this by one now that the total number of bars being reduced to one in the middle parts at top and bottom nothing but over here this green color ones and middle parts at left and right nothing but blue color ones reduced to one in that case this ratio is crossing one and also the PN and ML values are not being satisfied. So what do we do in this situation? We just add bars or we can just uh, increase the size of all the columns I mean of all the bars in the columns see there you go right now it is at 86 percent which is not bad so in this way you can do the design and analysis for the concrete column so let's see um, at a rectangular column and my height and width will be 24 by 12 again I'll select 1.5 inches as my edge cover I'll have the same loads so as you can see the stress ratio is showing as 0.556 now if I go to reinforcing and decrease the number of rebar in between you can see the stress ratio being increased See, removing one bar at over here, just having two bars is causing us a problem. So, that is a perfect solution. 78.3 percentage, and also rebar. Our rebar should be between 1 to 8 percent. So, we'll just increase the number of bars so now you can see rebar is ok it's 1.29 percentage now if you go to design results you can find the results and also you can find the movements and all the stuff you want you just need to expand wherever required you can see in your sketch the number 5 rebar and this is a column load interaction I mean P and M interaction diagram so it will vary for different load conditions coming to axial shear movement and deflection 
you can view the column even in 3D top as fin, bottom as fixed so we saw it square and rectangular column even circular column is possible tapered column, L shaped column, Z shaped column shape column I shape column plus symbol column hexagonal actually octagonal column and a column with a hole in between so all these types of columns you can design in error calc which is awesome thank you for watching the tutorial guys